I am ready to be Prime Minister. Banging the dumb drum ship refurbishment, refurbishment is a, a psychoactive drug. We need to get the A1 jewels. We need to get it jewels from top to bottom. And I promise you this, I will do everything in my power to protect you. We've got a Labour Party who've described business as the enemy. The travelling public are being held ransom by militant unions. We will build coalitions of the willing. I think the best thing to do with Nicola Sturgeon is ignore her. She's got a democratically elected position yeah, just as you would. I'm sorry, she's an attention seeker. We are the party for this moment and I ask you, join with me as champions of change. Mick Lynch, uh, the boss at the RMT, he says that you are robbing working people of a key democratic right and that if these proposals become law, there will be the biggest resistance mounted by the entire trade union movement, uh, rivaling the general strike of 1926. Well, I don't take any notice of these bellicose threats. And we're living in a kind of purgatory at the moment. We are going to make prisons work. I can't quite believe I'm asking you. This is a surreal moment. Is it possible that the Prime Minister wanted that inquiry to be stopped because he was fearful that the outcome would offend his girlfriend? I think this is a complete load of Westminster tittle-tattle. 2019 was a massive demolition job. Business as usual economic management, which has led to low growth for decades. But our best days are ahead of us. Your strategy, backed by a minority of economists, that, that's what you're asking Conservative members to vote for compared to a majority of, eco of economists. I don't base my policies on, you know, the number of economists. Here is a justice system that is incorruptible, swift and sure. Here is a justice system that works for everyone. Here is British justice, the best in the world. There was no party and that, and that no Covid rules were broken. If it's proven that he was at a party, should he resign? I'm not going to prejudice the findings of the Sue Gray report. Um, you can't prejudice the report, of course, because she's already done it. Wake up and smell the coffee. We're going to have a justice system of all the talents. We're going to have a justice system that works for everyone. Does the Prime Minister have your support? He has my 100% support. Full support, no unwavering, absolutely. Broke absolute the law, support. doesn't matter, total support. He has my complete support. Very good. Safety on our streets, reform in our prisons, Liberty under the law, justice for all, a country that works for everyone. The point, the point I'm making is I'm not following every single in and out and yeah, every but if statement. your Prime Minister is about to be questioned under caution the first time ever, I'm guessing that's way up on your in, in your inbox. No, it's a matter for the police, Kay. But as Foreign Secretary, you must be concerned if the Prime Minister is the first Prime Minister ever to be questioned under caution? Well, we need to stay the course. Together, we can make change happen. Those, those are the people whose side we need to be on. I would also... I, I would... We are going to make prisons work. The next day, she was back in work. Can I just say a few words on the militant people who try and disrupt our country? Things can only get better. Get with the programme. An aspiration nation. I, was, I went to primary school in Paisley in Scotland and I went to secondary school. Oh, and you did too. Maybe we were in the same class. <laughs> anyway, um, I, and from Magna Carta, to the Bill of Rights, to habeas corpus. For more than a thousand years, this country has led the world on protecting individual freedoms. Is it possible that this plane will take off with no one on it? There, w there will be people on the flight. We will have a positive, patriotic, proactive foreign policy. The Church of England, which as far as I'm aware is not some den of neo-Marxism, is accusing this government of immorality. I don't agree with that. Mm. The People who are immoral in this case are the people traffickers trading on human misery. 
and that is no, the no one is denying that the people traffickers the, are immoral the, they're just then, simply saying that this is not the people, solution to the problem those people neil mm -hmm. need to suggest an alternative policy that will work to deal with these illegal people traffickers. So explain the logic of that to me, that someone else has to come up with a better idea than yours for your idea to, to, be, to be ruled out as immoral. This is modern global Britain. We're one of the best countries in the world to be black, a woman or LB, LGBT. I do not believe that under 18 should be able to make irreversible decisions about their own bodies. A woman is a woman. We are in an age where wealth is seen as something that might not have been deserved and there's aspersions cast upon it rather than thinking actually if somebody's put their own money forward if they've taken a risk with their own business that success is deserved we cannot accept a justice system that does not reflect the best britain has to offer i'm loyal to boris johnson yeah, yeah, yeah. i know that most people are capable of reform i know that prisons can help reform them. We don't need to be fatalists. I believe that we can do something. And I know that this party does too. We're talking about hypotheticals here, Kay. Oh, we're not, are we? Because well, we, 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 we quite absolutely are. Well, there's a police investigation now. As we say in politics, when people are starting to get bored of a message, it's just when you need to start repeating it even more. The toughest package of sanctions. Fewer fewer investment. We need to win. We need to win. And my friends, we can win against Keir Starmer, who is a patronising plastic patriot. Both curry uh, and cakes. Deliver, deliver, deliver. And I am the person in this race with the record of delivery. I, as your Prime Minister, am determined to deliver. And fundamentally, that economically, Britain will be better off staying in a reformed EU. And we are left with the choice of revoking Brexit, of not doing Brexit, and no deal. I would rather have no deal. The single market isn't something that is a sexy, exciting thing to explain, but it is really crucial to the amount of growth we've seen. We have to no deal. It's a matter of trust. I was a bit of a teenage controversialist and just, just within these four walls, yes, I was briefly... Yes. No-one's listening or no watching. One's listening. Don't, don't worry, Liz. I was it's... briefly a member of the Liberal Democrats. We're focusing on the questions that keep people up at night. I bought my first Whitney Houston album at HMV in Brigitte. Did you go to any parties? That's not speculation. I didn't. Any? No. Were you ever invited? No.